Tiny homes are all the rage these days. They've even got TV shows dedicated to showcasing these little custom jewels. But if you think that 300 square feet is minimalist, what if I told you that I'm showcasing today a comfortable home with a floor plan of only 250 square millimeters, that is. What am I holding here? This is a hummingbird nest. I know it doesn't look like much, but a lot of work went into building this tiny house. Now, they're normally really hard to spot because otherwise predators might come in and harm the young. But the female hummer camouflages the nest with bits and pieces of moss in such a way that you'd probably think it was just a knot on a limb, even if you were looking right at one. You see, the female mates and then immediately starts to build her nest. It might take a week for her to get it fully complete, but time is of the essence. It won't be long before her eggs have to be laid. They prefer trees and shrubs over man-made birdhouses, and they're looking for a place that will protect them against the wind. Now, once she finds a spot that will support her weight, as well as the young, she starts building using cotton fluff, soft plant fibers, or anything she can easily get a hold of. She might even use some drier lint if it's close. Now, here's the really neat part. How does she hold it all together once it starts to take shape? With spider webs. That's right, think of how flexible yet strong a spider web is. It'll tack things nicely together because it's already designed to make insects adhere to it. So she's careful to insulate the nest so that the areas which get the most wind are protected. She also needs to make sure that there's shade from the sun and protection from the rain because her eggs will only hatch if she carefully regulates the temperature. Now a couple of weeks later, the babies are born and well within a month, they're out of the nest and doing the amazing job they were designed to do. When you think about this 250 square millimeter tiny house, it's just the right size to raise some tiny family members who can hover, fly 34 miles per hour, and take cross-country trips every year to follow the warm weather. In the biblical book of Matthew, we read that our Heavenly Father feeds the birds of the air. And then Jesus Christ, Yeshua of Nazareth, goes on to ask, are ye not much better than they? The truth is, while hummingbirds are truly incredible creatures with hundreds of design features that will leave you breathless, we as humans have been given superior reasoning and the mental capacity to study God's creatures in more depth. Remember to get out in nature and study creation. If you search long enough, you might even find a hummingbird nest. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. I recently hosted a feature-length nature documentary about the beauty and design of hummingbirds called Refracted Glory. If you find hummers fascinating, then you really should check out the DVD. I've included a link to it in the description. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn something new every week. David is host of the television show Creation in the 21st Century, as seen on TBN every week, reaching millions of homes around the globe. Sign up for our email updates at davidreeves.com to receive free content and videos.